So that's it. No news left to report. No one left to report it. How about we get out of here? <laughs> <clears throat> So, I do have to ask, I don't know if Sai is still with us or not, in terms of consciousness. I'm pretty sure he's still in chat. Um, I know that you and Psychotic were not big fans of this game, after a certain part, uh, story-wise. Now, are you two story gamers, where you'll forgive bad gameplay if it's got a good story? Or are you like, the whole game has to be perfect or it can fuck off? Um, I personally can forgive um, a mediocre story if the gameplay is fun. I can forgive a bad story if the gameplay is great. Um, I tend to be more of a gameplay person than a story person. But, I mean, I do like a good story. If there's a good story, you know, yeah, I'll... Look at this. I'm game all the way through. Like, I can even forgive some bad gameplay for... White blocks like stories. these. They weren't just trees and houses. But I'm kind of interested on, like, how you guys fall into that. Because I know you guys did not like this game uh, from beyond Act 1, basically. Alright, I can respect that. Fucking man out there. Oops. Yeah, my, like, so far I haven't minded the game as a whole, even up until this point. Um, Is that what I... To me, it's like, you say the story falls flat, but to me there really hasn't been much of a story. It's all oh, basically just yeah. been, um, you're as confused as the main character. 
Or at least that's kind of what I'm getting from this. What is healing this thing? Oh, there's a fucking weed. So, for me personally, there doesn't feel to be much of a story as is anyway? They really don't like water. So for me, there's nothing to fall flat yet. I mean, so far, all we've really found out is that um, the Camaretta has come forth and claimed responsibility, but, oh, they were doing this for the good of the city type of thing. Well, that's fucking been done in a million other things. I mean, that's not a... Uh... I mean, that's not a new concept. I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one. I don't think it's gotten worse so far. I just think they haven't done anything to progress the story. Soon everyone and everything. Like if they were actually progressing the story in some fashion, I might agree with you on a larger scale. Ah, uh, yes, yes Except I have. That was annoying as fuck. Except for us. We don't have to worry like everyone else. And by we, I guess I just mean you. Oh, mask itself? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, I've got to Oop, not the button I wanted to hit. Project a storm sphere. Enhance most function with lingering destructive effects. Ooh, regenerate life when turn is not recovering? Hmm. All right, I I can understand that. Ooh. Not going to lie, this is tough. But it kind of doesn't matter too much right now. Um, I guess maybe because I don't have Bastion to compare this to. Like, I have not fully played Bastion. That's not a, a comparison I can make. And maybe if I had that comparison, I might be feeling a bit more how you are. Uh, 
think we can go with the life recovery. And oh, of course, more memory. All right, so I have you set as a as an upgrade and you set as an upgrade. Hmm, because I kind of want to get get this life recovery set up. I mean, I kind of like the idea of it being life recovery. Let's see. What did Bounce do as an upgrade again? Add a chain effect. You know what? Let's get rid of you. And for now, let's add you as an upgrade. And... Let's go here. <sighs> Mask will release several bounce bolts in addition to base effect. Yeah, let's add you here. For shits and giggles. <clears throat> Nope, came from that way. Red, will I ever see you again? I mean, face to face. I like to wonder about that. Like maybe you could get me out of here or something. So am I supposed to deal with you? What the cut. said back there about wanting to see you again face to face I want you to know I meant it Really, you weren't a big fan of the soundtrack. But deserve some kind of reward. Not to get wiped out like all his bike friends. See you in the country, Mr. Bike. You go first. Yikes. Spawning season. Watch your step and we walk right out.
Oh, sorry. Wait, no, it gets... I'm saying it's pretty and sounds good. Most games should be ranked based on the gameplay. Okay, you know, fair enough. I mean... I guess unless you're talking about a music game, that... That makes sense. Bye, you know, a game should be ranked <sighs> off of gameplay. But I don't think... I don't think it's fair to have, you know, to make one part of the whole suffer. I mean, if you want to rate a game as a whole, you know, that's fine. But if you're going to say the music is a two because the rest of the game sucks, I don't think that's fair. Here's where we found one of the lucky ones. What? Oh, you have a really fucked up um, scaling system if that's how you're doing it. Do it. Or at least in my opinion, that that type of ranking system doesn't make any sense. Why not just rank each thing individually on a 1 to 5, you know, 1 to 10 scale? What? No. Go. Oh, okay, that's fucking retarded. I need to take that off. Red, get out of there. But if you're gonna say the shit's red. But uh, I don't know, that that still doesn't make sense to break up a ten point scale. So is music always gonna be blank out of two and gameplay is always gonna be blank out of five? I mean, I, I guess that just, I don't know, that just seems weird to me and doesn't make a whole lot of sense I knew to, it could be worse. By a lot. to break it up that way. I just wasn't quite sure how. Comfort in knowing. Because you're saying graphics is a one out of Makes one, so you're either saying the graphics are complete shit, or they're really great. Find our man. Take it from there. Sort all this out. <clears throat> yeah, I know we don't use, you know, an out of 10 scale, but if you're going to be bullshitty, be bullshitty. Be like it's a 1 out of clown. Or a 10 out of zip bop bibbity boop. Because, I mean, when you actually like. use numbers, you know, people are going to get confused. Check the terminals are going up. <laughs> like, people are going to think you're serious. Lady, we found body's gone, but her trace is with us. We can still get through. I don't know, it's like... 
Saying that you don't use an out of 10 scale and then using so one jokingly Almost there. doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Last so, it's like releasing a game in beta but actually charging for it. If you're going to be selling your game, you're going to have your shit treated like it's an actual release. So if you're going to use anything that resembles an out of 10 scale, I'm going to treat you like you're using an out of 10 scale. <clears throat> Caught out. One down, one to go. And he can't run. No, you don't. I don't know, I I guess I have an adverse effect of out of point scale because they're fucking bullshit. Like if you can't purvey your thoughts and feelings about a game in words, then you're fucking doing it wrong. And when you have a point scale, nobody's gonna read your wow. shit. They're just going to want to see a score, and then that's all they care about. And if you give a game a 6 out of 10, which, let's be honest, isn't a bad score. But if they're not going to read your thoughts about why they you scored it that way, what's the point? What's the point of a fucking review at that point? So that's why like anything that resembles like a legitimate point scale... I kind of like get green. <laughs> so the process can't be stopped. Yeah, I stopped. However, the process could be impelled to simply go away. Take its business elsewhere. And we'll be well enough alone. As for the town, we'll have ourselves a blank canvas. And as for the transistor. We'll have ourselves a brush. So this is Fairview. Farther from town than I thought. All of Cloudbank's gonna wind up like this. Where are we supposed to... Oh. Thank you, MC Escher. Trying times. Very trying times these days. 
one gram, the others pay. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're coming at as using a point scale as a joke, but like I said, I I don't like them as a whole. And to me, it's not a joke. It's It just feels stupid. I mean, if that's what you want to do, by means, do it. I'm not going to do it. I got nothing. We had a saying, which goes, when everything changes, nothing changes. You see, when everything changes, nothing changes. But all this, this isn't what we had in mind. There's the door to something better. To Fairview. These, hang it back this time. Oh, lovely. Lost my buddies. Yeah, that's sort of been my, I don't know if I mentioned this with you already, been kind of my biggest issue. Um, that once you sort of find a combination that really works for you, there's no point in experimenting. Um, like, as I've gotten new functions, I've been experimenting more as upgrades. Than actives, because I found some actives I really like. More. Oh. Why? That's a new one. Oh, GTFO! Eat stun lock. Why are you healing? You know what? Suck it. They're exposed. Oh, you son of a bitch. That was rough. Yeah, just a smidge. themselves and they're 
trapped. There's no walls in there, mind you. It's just they're on their own. Listen close enough and maybe you can hear them. Some of them, I mean. The ones you know. Just a bit farther. That could be fun. And just to fill up my slats. Green fight ever. Though not like I any of the fighting I've been doing has been any more exciting. center stage, a way to keep the process working in concert, in harmony. Enough with the history. Don't like it here. Bet this leads somewhere other than here. The transistor. I have no idea what's inside it, really. I've seen inside it. Had myself a little look. But I didn't see much. Didn't see much at all. It was like staring at the sky. And this town, it changes shape all the time, right? Bridges, parks, highways rising and falling. Rising and falling at the people's whim with the changing of the seasons. Even the seasons, they're just whim. But I guess I grew weary of it after a while. All right, <clears throat> time to get my shit back in order. Um, be dumb, be dumb, be dumb, be dumb. Uh, you're still broken. Why are you still broken? 
Oh, that's right, because I was using you as a main. Um, whoops, not what I wanted. <clears throat> I know buttons, I swear I do. Alright, so you two are still broken. You're gonna go back to doggies. Neither of these I really like. But I guess just to fill slots. Because who knows? I might need them. <clears throat> all right. Things changing all the time. All the time. Come on out. Oh, get away! Jesus. These things hurt. New toys. Uh, well, not really new, just shit I haven't picked before. Any, mini, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Any, mini, miny, mo. There we go. That is a very uh, scientific and technical way of choosing between upgrades. Um, what's passive? Totally cool with passive upgrades. Uh, user will no longer. Ooh. Oh. Wow. For only a 2% bonus? No, I think the automatic turn is. A little too OP to lose for only 2% EXP bump. I like that sort of panic mode. Clear. Which way? Um Okay, so I have a new passive. I want to equip you. Uh, what did you do as an upgrade again? Reduces planning cost. Yeah. No vacancy. Well, fine. I don't want you anyway. So let's do this then. Oops. All the wrong buttons. All right, let's get rid of you. Free up a ton of memory. What do we use as? Oh, let's use you as a passive. That could be fun. Okay. And... So I've got three points left. Yeah, I thought I told you to go there. Oh, I was out of memory. That's right. Um, oh yeah, get you back in there. All right, cool. Uh, we're golden. Hey, look. What do we got? All the Camerata's targets. About the transistor. Let's see. You can get in, but you can't get out. How about that? You can get in, but it's a one-way street, a one-way road. It's like the country. You don't just go for a visit. You go for good.
What do they know anyway? This is something. There you are. All four. Actually, let's lead with a purge. Then I'll run and spam crash. What am I missing? Oh, another man. Again, the purge. There. Easy peasy. Anything else upgraded that I'm not gonna read? Bracket. I know the name, but not the man. Heard he got out of town a while back. Alrighty, so normally this would be the time I would be thanking everybody for tuning in and doing a little bit of a sign off, but I have a feeling I'm really close to the end and like not enough to make a full stream out of it next week so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take like a small one minute break like get myself some water stuff like that i'll be back in like one or two minutes and we're gonna see this thing through the end tonight so um i'm just gonna leave it on this little menu screen i'm gonna take like i said a quick uh one minute you know top myself off and we'll get right back to it. So please stick around, and I will be back momentarily. Thank you so much for joining me.
All righty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Thank you for bearing with me during that quick break. So come on now. Come on. So let's finish this, shall we? And then I'll do a little uh, post-game wrap-up. Everything around us. Which is Washington something way. I kind of want to start doing. I don't think I've really done it, but I kind of want to just really sit down and, you know, give my two cents about it. Must be the place. And then um, I will send all of you lovely people on your way. Welcome. Welcome. Well, well, come, come in. Come, come on. Inside, inside my studio. studio. I'm quite, quite unarmed, as you can see. see. And, and it's safe, safe in here, relatively, relatively safe. safe. Yeah, at least for now. Here's the thing. Now, if the transistor doesn't go back in its cradle, then why? You and I both. But we just won't be anything anymore in a little while. You, me, and the rest of this town. So, please, don't let my work go to waste. I'm being reasonable. Now, full disclosure. Full disclosure here, which is, I am one, positively certain 100% that this will work. Which is, transistor plus cradle equals no more process. No funny business, okay? We'll just take it one thing at a time. One topic at a time. Look. If this was, if this was all just some kind of ruse on my part, I mean, how base? Why would I lead you all this way? I'll level with you. Yes, I would like it back. I'd very much, if you must know, but you know what? At this point, I would settle for not being wiped out of existence. I would happily settle for that. Okay, so now I'll wait. If you want me to wait, I'll wait. But the process, the process, as you can see, patience isn't one of its virtues. Always busy. This is it then. You know what you have to do. Look, no matter what happens, just... I love you. You know that, right? It's time. Bye for now. <coughs> ah, excuse me. But I will see you again. I will see you again. Let's see, the good news, well, the process, I think we got it, contained it, so the town is going to be all right. It's just, well, someone's going to have to rebuild, but we flew a little close to the flame there, so now we're here, not there. We're stuck, and... Unfortunately, the only way back that I'm aware of is, well, unpleasant. So, let's get this over with. Ooh. All right, so, crash, for sure. Uh, jaunt, for usage outside of turn. And... <clears throat> Reduce turn cost. Um, I don't need to draw in cells anymore. At least I'm hoping I don't. Um, so I'm not going to use that as a passive. I don't want to pull anybody. 
But let's go with my actives first that I know I want. Which is going to be Purge. <coughs> um... Oh, I don't think Flood is as good as I thought in terms of an upgrade. Because it, if it says Trail Damage and Trail Duration, I think that just means it's going to leave a trail. So let's find something else. Uh, doggies. And Stealth. Those I know I like as my actives. As for passives, 20% um, time in uh, turn mode is really good. Um, split, that goes to dogs. Um... What was my other passive? I don't need to draw that. That was my other passive. Um, <clears throat> reflect shield. Hmm. What else? Let's go with this as a passive. I have a feeling. Health regen is going to be relatively critical. Uh, so now I just need upgrades. Um, uh, let's see, inspect function. What was I wanting to... Ooh. Wait, no, that's coal in purge. That's not what I want. I want to go to purge. Inspect. Purge and coal. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, but I don't have enough memory for it, so fuck me. Hmm. Alright, so this is the only thing... I can really use as an upgrade. And I don't want to pull the user. Or I don't want to pull the target. So... Yeah, I guess that's it. Who gets to go first? How about... me? Oh, what? Come on! Right, so as soon as I can, I need to turn.
thought, how could the transistor be anything other than one of a kind? But I've been wrong about a lot of things here. I admit, all part of the job of having theories, being right sometimes, and also being wrong. Ah! Well, he's attacking me through a barrier, so I should have a little bit of a... Well, I only lost my doggies, so I'm actually okay with that. Actually, let's do this differently. No, because that's going to not come back considerably. Get a purge in? I can! And again, I should be relatively safe. I've got my shield and I'm behind a barrier. Uh, back one. Purge. Initiate. Invisible. Oh, I had that. Ashe, Ashe, till it works. No. Oh, come on. Let's see. These are my tricks against me. Oh, this is gonna hurt. So you can overkill, because I am done with you shenanigans. What? No. Stop. How are you doing this, Red? Reading my mind? Oh, don't. As long as I don't use Crash, I'm okay. What? I initiated first. Ah, oh, crap, I lost Crash. Oh, come on! I have to kill him solely with a poison. Dang it. Let's try this then.
Dang it. Uh... If I lose my purge ability, I am a little fucked. Dang it. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck. What? Shiza! Not so fast there. Oh, I'm dead. Please lose stealth. Please lose stealth. Oh, thank god I lost stealth. Dang it. Uh, at least I have a ton of health, though. <sighs> oh, that's gonna leave him with 4 HP? Fuck my life. And waste the last of my turn running away and timer scam him. Woo! Please don't be gone, please. Don't. Ah! We got away. Red, we got away. Yeah, barely. Now you're here. That's it. <laughs> Look at this. This whole town. I guess it's yours now. A blank canvas. And you still have the brush. Better you than the camarada. So where do you want to start? Get back to your place in high rise. Fit some gold lock. Junction chance. All the drinking joints in the canals. What are you thinking? Hey. Oh. Look. That's not me. Not anymore. I'm still with you. But I'm not getting out of here. Red. Hey. What are you doing? Wait, wait, what are you, what are you doing? Red. Don't you do it. Don't you dare. Don't do this. Please. If you do this. Red, please. Wait. Red!
All right, so <clears throat> that looks like that concludes Transistor. Um, I'll have to say not what I was expecting in terms of like an ending. I think it sort of leaves a couple of questions unanswered, like obviously the person who was killed who became the voice of your sword was somebody you loved. Um, but I don't remember them explaining why you lost your voice. That might have been one of the backstory things if you unlocked all of your functions you would have found something out or maybe I just missed something along the way but um yeah I'm going to say I enjoyed it uh the story wasn't as good as other games but that's kind of whatever it was enough of a story it was a pretty basic premise with the whole group of people trying to uh, change the city for good but not going about it in the best of ways and things backfired which I mean that's a bit of a tropey um, tropey story plot um, but yeah I, I enjoyed it I liked it. I would recommend it. Uh, especially if it's on sale. I definitely say if you can get it on sale, for sure, go ahead and pick this up. Um, it's not a bad game to me. Um, combat's a little repetitive. Uh, doesn't leave a lot. I don't want to say doesn't leave a lot to be desired, but... It doesn't leave a lot of, of experimentation. Because you're going to find shit that works for you. And you're going to stick with it, like I did. And I'm pretty sure anybody who plays this game is going to do the same. Um, the music was great. I am really happy that when I got this on sale, I picked up the soundtrack as well. I'm definitely going to throw this into my rotation. Um, I know Latency was saying he didn't like the... Then again, I don't know because of his jokey point scale. Um, I liked the the artistic direction they went with it. I liked how everything looked. Uh, even though toward that last bit, it did get sterile white, but that was because of the story... I don't necessarily agree with that. I would have liked the city to have remained intact as a whole. Um, but yeah, I I enjoyed it. I you know if you don't mind, sort of a I guess tactical action game, which is probably like the worst way of describing what this is. Um, definitely pick this up. Um, I would also recommend picking up Bastion as well, if you can find that. I think it should be relatively cheap now. From what I've played of Bastion, it plays very similarly. Um, it's still the same sort of isometric, um, top-down style action, um, quote-unquote exploration game. Even though there really wasn't a whole lot of exploration in Transistor, I can't say the same about Bastion because I haven't really played much of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a new game plus, which I'll probably go through, uh, fiddle around with some of the other, like, hard mode um, processes. And yeah, I, I super enjoyed it. I, like I said, I'll recommend it, especially if you can get it on sale. I have no clue how much it is right now. I'm going to assume 20 bucks. Uh, if you can get it for 50% off, I would definitely say go for it. Anything under 50 bucks, pick it up. Just pick it up. 
Uh, form your own opinion of it if you're still on the fence about it after this playthrough. Um, I am a big fan of if you're on the fence, form your own opinion. That's really the only way to go about it. If there's a bunch of people whose opinions you trust and you share and they say this game is a steaming pile of shit, then don't get it. Because you're probably going to find a pile of steaming shit. But I was in the position of a lot of people I trusted said it's a bad game. And a lot of people who were like, game of the year 2014. Um, and I'm like, mm, I don't know. So, if it's cheap enough and within your budget, definitely check it out. Wish list it. Um, if it's not something you're like itching to get at. Um... But yeah, it was fun to me, uh, even with sort of the repetitive combat after a while, I did enjoy the turn system, that was a nice little refresher, or refreshing gameplay element that a lot of these types of games don't have, even though it does make the combat very easy. Um, there are ways you can make that harder, you can either A, not use it, or use the uh, processes. That's a way to make things harder. Uh, you'll level up faster, but it'll be more challenging. So that's, that's definitely a way to go about it. But yeah, to me, this is definitely a game I enjoyed. Definitely a game I would recommend at the right price. I have 20 bucks is a little rich for my blood for this game, even 15. But if you can pick it up for 10, 7 bucks, definitely do it. Um, and that's pretty much it for my thoughts on the game. I do want to thank everybody who tuned in tonight. Uh, it was a pleasure having you all. Um, I kind of messed up. I don't have my script in front of me. I don't know why. I usually am, like, super prepared, but, um, anyway. Check out Daredevil, if you haven't already, on Netflix. If you don't have a Netflix account, um, bum a friend or families. It's definitely worth a watch. It's 13 episodes. They're about 45 minutes each. Um, if you don't have church tomorrow, uh, marathon it. If you do have church tomorrow, uh, marathon it afterwards. Um, or, you know, just watch it in batches. It's, it's a really good show. I like how they did it. Um, but outside of that, you know, thank you everybody for tuning in, uh, for the people who joined in and chat. Uh, this has been another Saturday Cupcake. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please go ahead, hit that uh, follow button. You'll get notices whenever we go live. Follow us on Twitter at ZTGamesNet. You'll also get updates, or you should get updates on your Twitter for whenever we go live. Uh, check us out on Facebook at Zero Tolerance Games. I think it's just Zero Tolerance Games. My, yeah, it's Zero Tolerance Games. Wow, I am completely useless without my script. Also, uh, check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash Zero Tolerance Games TV. Uh, we do regular exports, so if you missed anything tonight or you just want to see anything else we've done in the past, make sure to hit that up. Uh, down below is our streaming schedule. We do shows on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights. And then we do a longer stream on Sundays where usually we all get together and do some sort of a co-op or fighting game. We've been primarily focusing on fighting games because EVO is coming up. It's a huge fighting game tournament. There's going to be you know, tons of fighting games. So if you're into that and you've never heard of EVO, Check that out. Uh, it's a ton of fun. And yeah, that's going to do it for tonight's Saturday Cupcake. I have been your host, Jason Cupcake Troll Gordon. Thank you everybody for tuning in. And until next time, happy hunting. <laughs>